Next and next to each other. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. So how I got mine um, is actually displaying the dis you know the Discord uh, on my OBS, and then what I did was I I kind of like shrunk the the Discord. Where it's actually, where it's actually, as you can see here, I shrunk it where it's actually just, I can just angle it and just show us like that. So there you go. Then I got a space where it alerts and chats and everything would go up. And speaking of which, I need to get my, let's see here. Okay, it's up. It's up. All right, I see it's up. So, oh, I gotta change my title. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I, I had some good lasagna and I had a little itis uh, kick in. Lost track of time. So. Hey, 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 hey. Can't wear that. <laughs> I just like the hat. I don't. I mean, it's just. I mean, if this was the lions, this would be the colors right here. But <laughs> bro, if you had never showed me that, if you never showed me that. I would have thought that was a fitty, but God dang, that's big, bro. I mean, like, if, I mean, it was fitting if you never showed me that. Right, right, right. Man. Yeah. Here, get my, get my 
Just grab the hat. Hey, I would I would have did it. I, now if it was me, I'd probably grab one that was too small for my head. Be like a beanie. Like yeah, if I got this uh, fitted beanie. Yeah. No, I'm not bringing snacks. You lazy bastard. Uh, uh oh, oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Turn that down. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, do I still got that? Hold on, I know I had that, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, I think I got the, I think I got the right list from, I thought I wrote it, yeah, did I write it down on this one? Yeah, no, make sure I did now. Yeah, that was that, that was that one, this, this one. I'm going to start dating this thing, man. God, oh, I got so many. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. We improvising now. <laughs> just, just, this is, this is, this is randomly on a whim doing this. All right, so we had Titans. Yeah, I, I was a close game. Like it was, it was this close. Yeah, that's. I mean, after that, just cut the game off. And we had the Rams. It only takes one point to win a game. It only takes one point. All right. Chiefs and Bengals. I had the Chiefs, and you had the Bengals. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on. I just want to if they can hear your audio. Let me see something real quick here. Nope. All right. There. Go ahead. Oh, that's fun. There we go. Yeah. Now, now we can hear your audio. Now we can hear me. There we go. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yep, we're good. Yep. Good. Testies, one, three. Testies, yeah, one, touch, three. Touch these testies. Touch these testies, one, two. <laughs> Look, man. I can't help it. You want to touch these testies? <laughs> hey, this comes in later. I'll show that out later. Let me tell y'all, folks. Y'all missed it earlier, man. We I, we was giving the bags, man. I was so mad at these dudes. <laughs> I was like, we I'm was giving the bags. We was packing so many bags earlier. We thought they were... What's up, King of Kings? What's going on, baby? Kings is in the building. All right, so what's the next game? We uh, you got the, you got the uh, Bengals. And the Colts. Colts. Wait a minute, hold on. Where did we both? Did uh, we both take the Colts? No, I took the Colts. Yeah. You took the Raiders. And the Raiders won. Suckers. All right, this might be a losing one for me because I know we both lost the Lions. So I'm just go ahead and put an X on those. <laughs> we both chose the Lions. <laughs> I, 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 to be honest, I didn't even see the Lions game, but I'm sure it wasn't good. Yeah, it was not. It was not. Eagles in Washington. Eagles win that yep, one. Yep, we both got Eagles. Falcons at the Bills. I think we both Bills, picked the Bills. Yep, yep, we got the Bills. Patriots at the Jaguars. And the Pats. Yeah, we picked the Pats. I yeah. Mean, as much as 
They yeah. they lost. Bucks at the, the Bucks at the Jets. The Bucks won by four. Hold on, let me see. Whatever we got. Hold on, hold on. Bucks. Bucks. Oh yeah. Brady, like, you said the Bucks won, right? Yeah, that's what we picked. We both and the Pats win, right? I thought they won. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Jekyll. Your defending world champs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, <laughs> by four. Oh, all right. Oh, Look, God. you're playing the Jets. All right. Yes, they beat us week one. But we thought we were still in the preseason and the games didn't matter. Unbeknownst to us, we figured it out week two. Yeah. Actually, week three, because we were down 0 and 2. So, and then after that, we got this lovely little game the Bears and the Giants. The Bears, the Bears won that. Yeah. And I don't know where did we? Yeah, we both picked the Bears. The Bears. The oh, Bears. The Bears. Broncos, Chargers. I think we both went Chargers. Nope. I picked Broncos. Oh. Well, um, Hold on. they didn't win. Uh, yeah. However, they did score 10 more points than the Dolphins. Yeah, they did. That, that they did. That whole game. So we'll finish this and then I'll get to Sunday. So th this is how my Sunday played out for that. So uh, we got uh, 49ers at the Texans. Or no, Texans at the 49ers. We have 49ers. Yeah, 49ers won that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Cardinals at the Cowboys. Close game, 25-22. Yep. Cardinals win. We both lost that one. I was so mad at that game, bro. I was so mad at that game. Cowboys did not show so, up. Now that I'm looking at the Lions game, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm just saying. No, and so the thing is, the Cowboys is the ones that upset me. Uh -huh. Oh, we're doing good, King. We're doing good. The cowgirls, man. I mean, bro, they did not show up. They did no, not they show didn't. up. They don't deserve that eleven and five that they have. Whatever with that, man. Yes, they did. They, that game right there, they did not show up. They deserve the five. They definitely they deserve one of the five. Then that game right there. <laughs> so Panthers yeah. at the Saints. The Saints win Sad, that one. We, yeah, we picked the Saints. Um, see. We lost that with Seahawks over the Lions. Yeah. 51 <laughs> 29. Jesus. Look, I mean, there were some blowouts, and then there were the Seahawks Lions game. Yeah. yeah. Vikings at the Packers. We both picked the, the Packers. Packs, yep. 37 10. That, that was a, that's a crazy game. Mm hmm. All right. And then to round out the week, Monday night. Monday night football. Browns versus the Steelers. Monday, 14, Monday, 20. Monday. Steelers. We both lost that. So in what could be or what is Roethlisberger's last game at Heinz Field. Yeah. I don't know what that yeah. Sad. yeah you're Everybody not, was all big sad. And then you look at the age between him and Tom Brady and you're just like Tom Brady is like 10 years older than you, boy. And he's still going. <laughs> and he plays football five times better. Yes. Five times. So, yeah. Oh, my God. So, no, I think folks. Retired. But uh, then again, I mean, you, you think about it. Roethlisberger also did take, you know, a pavement to the face after totaling his motorcycle one year, having completely reconstructed face surgery and then – playing that season so yeah hey, there's that yeah and well uh folks right. spit has took the l this week so taco is on top he, he wear, look he wears it like i wore last week proudly yep i took the l i take the l there was some games i got upset about i was like god <laughs> yeah now, there were some games that were just like and the whole day i'm like <clears throat> okay we won our game <laughs> Watching the Chiefs Bengals game because it was going on the same time. I'm like, man, I hope we get this game. And then they put it on, and I'm just like, oh, 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 win! Yes, it, yes. Let me tell you how bad it was with the Cowboys game, man. It got so bad, man. They started, they they, they brought started broadcasting in Spanish. Yeah, that's how bad it got. Still didn't make it play better. Yeah. They started broad. So I was like, so did did, did the whole U.S. Department of the uh, broadcast left? They like forget this. <laughs> I don't yeah. 
Like what? I was changing. I thought something was wrong with my settings and everything, man. And they was like, like the traditional WWE pay per view. Somebody's getting slammed through the Spanish yeah. announcing yeah. table. Yeah, I was picking on the Spanish. Somebody's getting Ooh, slammed through no. it first. So, all right. So you want to write this one down? Starting Sadu- oh, Saturday, January eighth. JC Chill. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I didn't hear that announcement go up, man. I missed that. Thank you for the follow. Oh, that was an hour ago. I didn't even get that message. Okay, well. Yeah, I had Earth Daughter 17 followed me yesterday. I don't know who that is. Yeah, but I, I just tell you this, though. Somebody, I, I was at one, I was at 1029, and somebody unfollowed me. So, uh, as I always say, if you unfollow me, kick rocks, blow bubbles. Good luck to you. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want to be here, don't be here. Don't be here, yeah. Bye. My life goes on without you. Yep. Uh, all right. So, January 8th, Saturday, two games. All right, January 8th here. Let's see. Pull up my phone right here. January 8th. Let's see. Ooh, I'm cold. Ooh, excuse me, man. I tell you, I had the itis bad, bro. That thing, little yeah. lasagna, so good. That happens, man. I think I overdid it. All right, so we're going NFL. Let's go. All right. Yep. All right, so. Okay, so hold on. We got two games coming January. Right. Yep. How about Chiefs at Broncos, Cowboys at the Eagles. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. January eighth. All right. So, Cowboys and Eagles. I'm going Cowboys. I'm gonna take the Eagles. Hold on. Where's my paper? I need. I need another. Only because I don't like the Cowboys. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Shouldn't let you shouldn't let your emotions get into it though. But that's okay. I'm not letting my emotion. I'm <laughs> I'm letting. <laughs> Dak Prescott's ability to play. Uh, hold on. Uh, I need some. Where my notepads at, man? Hold on for a second. Mm-hmm. All right. Jesus, I wrote a lot. High deals on here. All right. So Chiefs at the Broncos. Okay. All right. I ain't here. Where did you just say it? Okay. What did you just say? Oh. All right. So hold on. Let me get my list together. Let me get my list together. Damn know. it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can go right around the corner from where I'm at and get me a Frankenstein. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. So I'm going Cowboys. You you're getting emotional, so you're going Eagles. <laughs> There's no emotion in it. No problem. No, I'm just kidding. All right, Chief and Broncos. Who are you going for, man? Uh, I'm gonna take the Broncos only because if Kansas City loses and if we lose, we still maintain first place. All right. I mean, I really don't think we're gonna lose, but. But I, I'm going for I'm going for the I Chiefs. Mean, I mean, lightning strikes twice. I've seen it. Okay, now I'm going Chiefs. Okay. All right. And then we kick off Sunday, January 9th. Nice. First game of the day, noon of four. Packer. Titans at the Texans. Okay, say so Titans. Hold on, I'm looking at an ESPN list here. So you say Titans uh, and I'm Texans. Sorry, oh. Yep. So you said Titans and Texans. Mm, uh, I'm going Titans. Yeah. You going Titans? All the way. All right. <laughs> Duh. All right. And what's the next one? Bengals. Bengals at the Browns. Bengals at Browns. Uh, Baker's out. Baker's out. He had surgery, so it's the Bengals all the way. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Bengals. 
And then, and I want to. And after we do this list, I want to talk about uh, Antonio Brown. I want your I want your oh, thoughts yeah. on no, that. Oh yeah, we got a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk through. with you about that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, Washington at the Giants. Oh, I'm going Washington. Let's flip a coin, man. Yeah, I'll go Washington. Yeah, I'm going Washington on that one. I mean, at this point, these guys are just playing for draft picks. So yeah, some of them, some of them are playing for playoff spots. Like it's win and get in, mm-hmm. lose and go home. Go, so yeah. So, cause uh, I, damn, now I don't think they have an opportunity. Washington don't have an opportunity to get in the wild card if they win. I don't think so. No. no, I don't think so. No, no, no. So they just six and because right now that's a, that's a game right there. They're probably playing for pride. Yeah, no. Right now, pretty much everybody's locked. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Next game, what's up? Bears and Vikings. The Bears. The Bears. And the Bears. Bears. Uh, I'll, I'll take hmm. the Bears. You know what? No, I'm going Vikings. You gonna go Vikings? Yeah. Okay. I'm going Vikings, but you're going Bears. Yep. This next one's gonna hurt you. Green, Hold Green Bay. Packers. Right. Packers. Packers. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Packers. I'm, I'm not even. I yeah. love Lions. I love y'all. I know. But I'm just being play, realistic. Play for that draft. Play for that draft, son. Play for that play. draft. That's it. Don't you ain't got you ain't got to prove nothing now. Play for Eat that the draft. Stars line, bring the practice squad in. Let them get some reps. Yep. Because I guarantee you, Aaron Rodgers won't play it. Guarantee it. He's not playing. If he does, he'll play the first quarter. Yeah. Get things started. Get y'all. Get everybody in the lead, and then just sit down for the rest of the game. So, yep. Uh, Probably go home. <laughs> he head to the he locker will. room. <laughs> He'll go to the locker room, but he won't go the way of Antonio Brown. No. Anyway, uh, Steelers at the Ravens. You know, I'm gonna take the Ravens. Hold on, They've been playing Ravens. like absolute dumpster fire, but I mean, the Ravens have played spoiler before. Hold on, where? Okay. You know, I'm going Ravens. I'm going Ravens, man. Yeah. Colts at the Jaguars. <laughs> I'm going to take the Colts. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to go to. I mean, right now they're just playing for draft. Mm-hmm. Pick. Again, the Jaguars and the Lions are pretty much neck and neck. Mm-hmm. Right now the Jags have the best record for draft because they're 2-14 and 14 and the Lions are 2-13 and, and 1. One, yeah. Saints at the Falcons. I'm going Saints. Saints? Uh, yep, I'm going Saints. And then you got... Uh, dude, we got a lot of games on Sunday. Holy crap. 49ers at the Rams. Rams. Yeah, Rams got that. And then you got Seahawks at the Cardinals. I'm gonna take the Cardinals. I don't think they're gonna do much, but yeah, cards on that one. And then you got Patri- Patriots at the Dolphins. Now here comes a, a game. <sighs> look, look, I'm, I'm gonna go ma- Patriots. It's a massacre. I don't want. I don't want to go Patriots because I hate the Patriots, but. After Molly whopping the Dolphins last week, I gotta go against the Dolphins. I mean, it's the Dolphins. Yeah. I mean, you had a seven and seven run. You won set or lost seven. You won seven. Now you can lose two. Hold on. Did we get the? Did we do the Chargers and uh, Raiders? Wait, what? Chargers and Raiders. Char- now, now that's going to be a fight. Yeah, that, that that that's gonna be a knockdown drag out because that's a that's a deciding game for the Raiders. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. gonna be mm. Panthers at the Bucks. Oh no, who are you going for? Oh, Raiders. 
It'd be they're nice saying, they're saying that L.A. is going to – they say the Chargers. I'm looking at it. We, they looking like Chargers might win that one. But you know what? Raiders is the Raiders, though. They're going to fight. So I'm yeah, going Raiders. I mean, it's the Raiders. I mean, so uh, Jets and Bills. We got to go Bills. The Bills. Yeah, Bills on that one. Panthers at the Bucks. I'm gonna go with the Bucks. Bucks. I mean, I mean, it's five and eleven versus twelve and fourteen, and you're going against Tom Brady. Right. Yeah. Minus Antonio. Br- no, I'm sorry. He went minus last week. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Who left at the third? That when when they say I quit this job was a person. <laughs> Right. Like, like F this job was a person. Everybody's bro. touting everybody's touting it is like the worst thing that's happened on a field ever in the NFL. And everybody seems to forget the temper tantrum, the absolute two year old that was Vince Young when he played yep. for the Tennessee Titans. Mm-hmm. When he threw everything into the stands and walked the fuck off the field. And then the next day was on a plane to bum fuck somewhere not with the titans yep you don't want to play here don't fucking play here but yeah i would have yeah i'm gonna tell you some you know what's funny though yesterday when i was coming home from work and i went to the get, get some gas at gas station you know the clerk there uh he saw you know of course you know i you know i got my lion's jacket my lion's coat on because it's cold you know so i got the lion's coat on so he automatically want to start talking football with me all right so uh he asked me what were my thoughts on that. And, and I told him, I told him, flat, I said, he's an idiot. And he like, no, no, he went there. I said, look, bro, uh, I'm, I'm saying this. He put himself in everything that's going on with him. He put himself in those situations. Yep. He put himself in those situations. Now, let's talk about what he did. I'm only talking about he's an idiot for what he did at the game. Like, bro. You brought that's your brand. Your name is your brand. And now you are now going across this whole NFL now. Like, bro, do you have a solution now? You all like it, like, bro, you you're not gonna get paid no more, bro. You done. You're done. He might have something coming left of his contract, maybe. He might have something in his contract that probably, you know, stifles him and stuff like that. But still, like, bro, you're done. Yeah. They, he was like several key factors in his season away from unlocking like $333,333 bonuses, like two more receptions, one more, you know, touchdown catch, you know. But how idiotic are you going to be? First of all, you got the GOAT. You have the GOAT. As your quarterback, that liked you. <laughs> Let's get that. He liked you. Okay? Kings is your team's the Browns or the Bengals? Oh. Or is he because I, I can't remember. No, we chose we both chose, chose the Bengals. No, no, no. Kings says we haven't been good this year because we've been hurt. I mean, the Titans have been playing hurt all year. They've rounded out eighty four players this year and still managed to have the record they have. And now, here we come in, rolling in today. Today, live on my Twitter feed, my Instagram feed, everywhere coming out of Nashville was the Derrick Henry running his ass off, full practice pads and gear, working. Which means there's a small chance. Now, a lot of people are like, no, he's not going to play on Sunday. I think he's going to play. He will play probably just the first quarter. This is the Titans I mean, one. What's up, my guy? With Henry Hurt and Brandon Evans Hurt, they still managed to make the exactly. record. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And now we have everybody coming back. Everybody. Bro, and that could, and you, uh, kudos to the coaching staff. <laughs> Kudos to the coaching staff because you still got your play. You you still producing without your key your star players. Your key yeah. play you still producing. So kudos to 
the from the beginning at preseason to now kudos to them bro like you got a unit right now bro that can that that is like heaven right now like bro you still got a squad that can do that can get that can produce the record they producing right now if some of the key players was gone nobody's talking about the falcons nobody except you're in atlanta <laughs> look. what's up army what's going on army look, look. yeah hey, hey look do me a favor go get michael vick out of retirement you're gonna need him <laughs> Yeah, dog fighting be damned. That man turned his <laughs> life around, did some good stuff. Yeah, but he said we got people quitting, and then shoot, shoot. We need, he said we need something. Yeah, bro, Falcons need something. Bro, he said we hey, got look, people quitting look, for mental health reasons. Waffles <laughs> Burger's looking for a new place to play. You think he could go away to the Atlanta Falcons next year? I'm not saying no, no, but I'm just saying. Yeah. You know what? He could, he could go the way of the Tom Brady and look for warmer climates. Hello, Miami. He's how, a, how funny would that be? Oh if yeah. But on the real, Roethlisberger goes to Miami. I'm with I'm with Army on this one though. Like yo, Roethlisberger. Yeah, he's done. He's done. This is it. This is it. Go ahead, go ahead and get the State Farm commercials going. Go go be an announcer on a couple of the games. Let's go. Go go to a Friday night football. All that. Bro. This little micro break brought to you by Array's Energy. Franken Sour. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you too can get yours today. Yes. Click the link below. Mm-hmm. 15% off. Yep. You can't get these flavors. However, if you DM me, I will ship you a box. It must, it's going to cost you a little bit because shipping is outrageous right now. Yes, it is. But I have three cases. Oh, I forgot I ain't got my bot up. Uh, I don't know why get, I keep get doing your, it. Get, get, get it, get it. Well, it's good. This stuff is delicious. Hold on, wait a second. Right, right. Listen, listen to how good it is. <laughs> Bro, listen, we spent two first round picks on a few years ago. On yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That 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 team needle, and it starts in Detroit. Now that you know what, an army and one army, I'm with you because I'd be saying the same thing about Detroit. I'd be saying the exact same thing about Detroit. They do not listen. But my thing is, after umpteen years of these losing seasons, I know something has to be changed. Something's got to happen. Heads are gonna roll. Yeah. After Sunday. Yeah. Sunday night, Jacksonville and Detroit are both gonna be like. We fired fucking everybody. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's gone. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Even the owners. Players are gone. It just, the team is at zero personnel. We the, rebuild. The, on, the owner might be like, I'm going to fire myself. You know, I'm, everybody got to go. <laughs> Detroit's going to be like, can we move to like Grand Rapids? <laughs> no, Ann Arbor. <laughs> Here we go. Ann Arbor Lions. <laughs> moved to Pontiac. Worked for the Pistons. It did. Yeah, it did. It did. Hey, how do you know? How do you know when you've made it to Pontiac? Jeez, I've been. It's like you see Canada. I don't know. <laughs> no, it can't breathe. The air is horrible. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, it's been that long. It's been that long since I've been oh, over there. Yeah. yeah. You know you're in it's Pontiac because you got to put. You got to change. You got to cut your air off because the stank is gonna come through the filter. Oh, your car. Yeah, you got to cut the air off in your car. So, so, but yeah, man. No, I'm excited. I mean, Derrick Henry. Yeah. Like, I've been getting Google notifications all day because my Google News is dead set on the Titans and the Predators because I wonder why. But, no, they're like, you know, because last week, you know, I told you, well, you, yeah, we had to show last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told you, I told you that he was just running around the field. Mm hmm. And, you know, last week he was just light practice. This week he was, you know, dragging motherfuckers up and down the field. So, I mean, he's not, he's not, oh, uh, you know, I had surgery. This, this motherfucker's like, look, I'm coming back. He's been out. He said, get since ready. Week eight. Get ready. <laughs> he's been out. <laughs> finished week eight, had surgery the following Monday, 
and has been in recovery since. So he's been out eight weeks. And now here we are. We're at the end of the fucking season. The dude is hungry. He's hungry. He's still in sixth place. He ain't run a play in eight weeks. And he's he's ready to get out there. He's hungry. He's hungry. Hey, Logan. Hey, There's boy. a good chance that even, I mean, he comes back and runs all over Texas. You know, he's second, third. I mean, in the first eight games, mm -hmm. he put up sixth place numbers. And the Titans, since he left, have put up the exact same. Yeah, just right, right, right. I say the Falcons need to start working on, on that deep. Yeah, defensive line, bro. Just like, hey, um, and the opposite is for Detroit, man. They need to work on our offensive line, man. We got, we need some block, man. We need, or whoever need to train these dudes, man, to block better, man. Because every quarterback, when it comes down soon, he says, "Hike, bro." It's like he has less than two seconds to get the ball off there, any quarterback that's in the NFL. He needs to learn, take the Tua course, man. Tua has the fastest throw time in the NFL currently, and mm -hmm. he's that, that's the Dolphins quarterback mm -hmm. at, like, three seconds, less than three seconds. So when he says hike, the three seconds going, later, that ball's, that ball's down going, the field. Yeah, this ball down the field. So, and so you need some, you need some, you need some, uh, you need some receivers. Man, forget four five. You need some some fours. <laughs> Honey, y'all dashing four. <laughs> For real. No, you need, I mean, but I mean, to build a team, I feel, and you know, and this is like the first year that I've like been super into football, I've followed it and whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like the first time that I've looked at stats and, you know, followed it major you know, in the majority, you know. I don't know. So whoever I just think it's funny is that Maddie they Melton. released the power rank. <laughs> Good. He needs to get some offensive line to block for him. Yeah. I mean, they. Hold on. And you know what? Ooh, and I'm going to say this with, with, with the Falcons, and I think that office need to get out of the. Uh, um, uh, vent, uh, God, man, we just talked about him too. That he need to come back. Uh, God, I have a brain Michael fart. Vick? Yeah, Vic. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, he was the most. He was elusive. So they really didn't. Even if they was coming in, he was shake. He was, you know, he was shaking them off. Like he was the elusive quarterback back then. He ain't now. Michael Vick was good. Yeah, he was real good. And he was he like, and, and he during that time, he was the most elusive quarterback out there. During that time, but he ain't that now, you know what I'm saying? But we, a point I'm trying to bring out though, they probably still in that mindset that they got a, they got a, whoever, they got that Vic factor out there where they ain't got to focus, you know, on that offensive line trying to get some block for the quarterback because they're thinking they and then we got a Vic out there. I was like, bro, that, that's just that's my theory. That's just my theory. It's probably why they ain't focused on the offense line. Me personally, I think the uh, the Lions have the Barry Sanders uh, uh, factor. They think they got a Barry Sanders that's there. There, they run a play. They think he gonna. He's like the Barry Sanders was the most elusive running back in history, straight up. Yeah, he may have lost a lot of yards, but you got to think about how many yards he did on his own, breaking records with a whack offensive block. <laughs> like he was like. Hey, okay. Barry Sanders was an animal. Well, he hit. Let me say something. I'll tell you. Hold on, hold on. I say, uh, is it Vic is like in forties now though? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on. Say, uh, Julie, uh, Julio. Uh, Look, I don't want to hear a word about quick. any quarterback Everyone that's in their forties. <laughs> Shoot, Barry Sanders out there. You can't come with me with oh the quarterbacks in their forties. Tom Brady is my age. Yeah, forty-four. Yeah, and I'm one year older than I'm one year older. Than Tom Brady, and that man is still throwing like darts he's, like he's a teenager. <laughs> that man is probably going to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for another four no. years. And you're right, you're right. I mean, he don't run. He don't have to. He don't have to. <laughs> he ain't got to. They got an O line that protects him. Yep. 
and he's and he's great. And he's got he receivers that he can depend to throw to. Yeah. And all he's got to do is tell these guys, be at the twenty-five yard line yeah. when I throw the ball. Yeah, Army, you right. Get- you right. Yeah, Vic will. Yeah, Vic will try to run and break <laughs> some hips. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to put him down like the dogs that he has. Yeah. So. So as it stands, mm-hmm. wild card Saturday, yep. wild card Sunday, which is next weekend. Mm-hmm. Not this coming, but the weekend after. We're looking. Uh, one, one, two, three. Chiefs or Chargers at the Chiefs, Colts at the Bengals, Patriots at the Bills. And on oh, the you other look, are you end, looking at the you looking at bleacher, the Bleacher Report? No, I'm on Fox Sports. I'm just looking at the standings. So if okay. if, if the playoffs happened this weekend, okay, yeah, this, yeah, who would be playing who? So. And then you'd have the Eagles at the Rams, the 49ers at the Bucks, and the Cardinals at the Cowboys. All I can say is that is an immediate, you holy crap weekend, especially for the NFC anyway. Because mm-hmm. those are teams that have been kicking the absolute shit out of one another all season. I mean, the fact that the Colts are a factor in the playoffs is mm-hmm. hilarious. Yeah. Because they played the Bengals. Colts beat the Bengals. I think. I'm not sure. Did they? Let me pull that up. Schedule. Yeah, you know, Washington's, yeah, they eliminated. They out. I was just looking at it. Yeah, they gone. They out. They out. So, draft day in February. I think that's when the draft is. No. But later this year, Washington has announced that they have a new logo and a new team name that they will be releasing. Whoop. Hold on. I didn't get that. Hold up. April. Yeah. I didn't get that announcement. Army, Army just said in April. Did they play in the... I don't recall that announcement. I missed that. They did not play the Bengals this year. You know what? Oh my God! Well, let me tell you something. I mean, I, I got it. I got to talk about this. All right. So Antonio Brown. All right. This one, you see, well, you know, you messed up. You're gonna try to. You, it's like one of those, you know, the kids that get in trouble and then try to try to lie as to why or what they was doing. Let me see something. Hold on. It said here. Antonio Brown released his lengthy statement, tells his side of the story days after leaving Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. He says, speaking for the first time since abruptly leaving during the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game at the New York Jets on Sunday, Antonio Brown said he was forced, listen to this, forced to play on an injured ankle that would require surgery. Now, what was he doing at the end? He was skipped and skipped to Malu across the end zone. Yeah. Basically, the way it went down was, Coach, my foot hurts. Well, we need you on the field. Coach, my foot hurts. I can't play. I don't care. Play on the field. Fuck you. I'm out of here. And then proceeded to yeah. dance, prance and his show way. His, yeah, field. show his butt. Yeah. So, and, and it all stemmed from coming back from a three game suspension for the COVID violation. Mm hmm. Now, possible repercussions of a falsified vax card, which if that's the case, that's big, big trouble. Okay. You know, now here's the thing now. And it may, I mean, because of what he now, because you what you just said right there makes me suspect like, mm, is this really true? Here we go. An MRI, a M- 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 I- R- a MRI on Monday revealed broken bone fragments and ligament torn from the bone and cartilage loss. The right receiver said in a lengthy statement released Wednesday night. So he said he has an MRI showing that he had broken bone fragments, a ligament torn from the bone, and cartilage so now, loss. Well, now he's trying to say he's, yeah, 
on the way of the Derrick Henry. So that's, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, the man, and, and, and there's been a lot of people that were like, you know, when he played for Pittsburgh, he got the absolute beans smacked out of him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was on the field for 10 minutes unconscious. Yeah. And they think that he suffers from. I meant to. Was it the yeah. The, 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 basically, it's a severe concussion. Mm-hmm. And it left him scarred. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, then the man needs help. He does. I mean, uh, when you're doing that on the field, bro. First of oh, all, oh yeah, I, so there are some hits that I'm just like, oh. yeah, CTS, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, my mom suffers from CRS, so you know, see what? I can't remember. <laughs> can't, can't remember shit. <laughs> That's what she calls it. Uh, but no, my my so, thing is this. My thing is like, bro, you gotta like. First of all. Just what you, the point you brought out, fake, faking that he has that he pretty much he got vaccinated. Now mm-hmm. what you what you do is you run around showing your butt off. You take off sweaty equipment, sweaty clothes. And we chuck it in and do and chuck it into the audience. So you pretty much let's 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 break this down. What if he's asymptomatic and have COVID? You just let off a chemical bomb right in the stadium. Yeah, Kings, that's what we're talking about with the Pittsburgh game. When he, yeah, the Cincinnati game when he got drilled. Yeah. I mean, he was stiff arming air for three minutes easy. I mean, it was creepy. So looking up on the Washington thing, so apparently they released a tweet. But somebody, because it's got a picture of a helmet, but the helmet's fuzzed out. But somebody unfuzzed the helmet, and supposedly the new Washington football team's name is, they're going to be the Washington Admirals. Look, it's better than the Redskins, even though they've been the Redskins since their inception. Oh, yeah, look, it's first thing here. And it is a hundred percent better than the Washington football team. Yeah. So I me personally, I think I kinda like what uh Army One put out. They could have used Washington Gladiators. Uh but you know what? In the spirit of you know, they you know, they DC, you know, you got the, well still it's like the Washington Wizards, that's nothing admiral about it, nothing constitutional name about it and everything like that. So they could have used like gladiators or something though. I would have been yeah. hyped if they had Washington Gladiators or or Spartans, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that would that'd have been hot. But Admirals, well well. Yeah. I mean They ain't hey, my squad. They, it is what it is. They ain't probably my squad. Know it could be thoroughly utter horse. Yeah, the Washington boot, the Washington booty scratchers. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you, yeah, the, Rock, Washington the Washington admirals, the Washington indictments. I mean, yeah, you know, the, the Washington I mean, insurgents. Like, <laughs> Is that too soon? <laughs> Washington COVID violators. <laughs> Washington COVID violators, yeah, uh huh, yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, it's just nuts, man. So that name is already. Nuts. You said that. You said that name is already taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! But yeah, that's I saw that, man. I was like, bro. I still say, I still say he's an idiot, though. For I mean, I mean, and he, 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 I, th- I really don't. But honestly, I really do think he needs some help, man. Like mentally, he needs some mental therapy, straight up. And straight up, he's in denial. What is in AFL? What? That name is a. What? Huh? I'm lost. What? Is all that snow getting to you, Kings? Oh, by the way, we're supposed to be getting more snow starting Thursday night into it's Friday. Snow at 9 a.m. Yeah. They're calling for four to six inches here. Yeah, they're calling for uh, 
uh, two to five inches. Listen, all right, yeah, two to five there is like, oh, I can still see my golf ball. No. Four to, four to six here is people are in utter, I can't leave my house because I don't know where the door handle is. No. Nah. Let me tell you something. I mean, what hit us? Here, what that much hit snow. us? Me personally, I felt like I was right. Right now, where we at right now, I really felt like I was in Detroit all over again. That's yeah, how dude, bad. Yeah, yeah. That's how bad it got here, man. And let me tell you this: they don't know. You Washington, said pictures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Washington, Ugh, Maryland, sorry. and Virginia, DC, D, the DMV area. They do not know how to treat their roads. They do not. Like, and I don't know if you saw it on the news, but that's that it hit, and it was gridlock on 95, and they was sitting there for 15 hours. Three people died. Damn. But yeah, you was telling me your work is like 11 minutes away, and it took you an it hour and a half to, to get to work, to get to work, coming back. You know, it kept going. So they was like... He had a nerd ask me, and I know he just had to ask me. He was like, "Hey, Frank, do you want to go home? You know, you know, think it's safe for you to go home now, or do you want to go home later?" I was like, "Man, I'm out. Let's go." I'm like, "I already know what this is about." It took me and my home. it took my me and my wife about an hour and a half to two hours to get back home. Dude, that's crazy. Absurd. And if you li if anybody live. Where snow can possibly be, do not buy a car with rear wheel drive. I seen so many people. How to drive it. I seen so many people <laughs> stuck on a road, and I'm talking like vans. I'm talking trucks. I'm talking mm -hmm. not. Let, I'm even gonna go into the sedans because they don't know how to drive in the snow with a sedan. I can show you. I can tell you. I'm like y'all don't know what y'all doing, but. I'm seeing trucks, and I'm talking not no little ring thing. I'm talking about some Ford F-150s with rear wheel drive. And I say, bro, you ain't got all wheel drive. You ain't kicked that in yet. They just spinning and spinning and spinning. And my van, front if you wheel live drive, in the north, where you're gonna get snow, and you ain't driving a four wheel drive vehicle, especially yeah. a truck. Yeah. Why do you even have a truck? Right. Why? Why would you even have right? You either four wheel drive or all wheel drive if you got a truck. If you doing with a rear wheel drive, I'm sorry, no, I, I can't. You you you, you just. Uh, I learned how to drive in the snow, in northern Michigan, in the mid '90s. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, it's the okay, yeah, all right, Arena Football League. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they could still use it because it's not NFL. The AFL. It's the yeah. NFL. Yeah. But. You know, but it's so I learned how to drive in, you know, 93, 94 on bald tires and a Ford Escort in northern Michigan. <laughs> no, it wasn't uphills both ways. It's pretty flat over there. Yeah, it's there. pretty flat. It's pretty flat. Yeah, it mentioned but when you're flat. taking But when you're taking 612 out of Grayling and there's a big three mile stretch in front of Lake Marguerite that's just open. And it's open water, and you got that lake effect blowing across there. Ooh. It pushed me in. Yeah, it was like starting. Just, the just gust, the, me, the wind the gusts, the wind gusts by itself. That uh, day before yesterday, thirty-five miles per hour. Wind gusts. The wind was thirty-five miles per hour, bro. And I'm telling you, every time I stepped out the car. The, the snow was coming down, but it was coming sideways. It was like... That's crazy. <laughs> it's coming sideways. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It does, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It was like, they could have chose a better name than that, though. But, oh, well. I yeah. bet you had a long day. I'm shocked you're not asleep yet, dear. Her best friend had her baby today. So. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. And she was there since this morning. Oh, <laughs> she got to cut the umbilical cord. Oh, so. okay. Where the dad? Yeah, never, never mind. That's yeah. not. Uh, that's, uh, that's not my business. <laughs> I want to open nothing up. 
That's not my business. So there's this thing with mm-hmm. the stuff mm-hmm. and the extra things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got it. Needless to say, no. New COD news. Um, right. Same trash can, different okay. dumpster. No, um, I was actually looking at some stuff, man. There is some new COD news here. Let me see here. Let me see here. Um, there is some new stuff. Okay, everybody knows about the leaks with uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. Everybody knows about I mean, those leaks. But... Uh, See, Call of Duty Warzone's first update of 2022 fixes invisible operator bug. I mean, deactivate the operator. Problem solved. Deep fix it. I mean, the fact that we were playing Warzone and getting beamed from ghosts. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Literally ghosts. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I you, put it right now. John Cena's running around all over the place. What you mean, John right Cena? Now, you can't I'm see thinking. me. I'm, I'm, my character's holding a bar and the barrel is missing on the screen. It is literally the uh, strap clip, a sight, and the silencer just out in fucking Lim- dead air. Limbo. Crazy. Oh, that reminded me. Hey, Taco, remind me, I gotta change my uh, monitor after I end, end the stream because it's about to, the timer's about to go out. Yeah, so this is how I check my. Uh, my levels. Y'all know if y'all can see it. Hold on, where's that? Right here. Oh, nice. So I use that. Bet you that's not fun. No, it's, it's actually it's comfortable. Really. Um, it's better than tick tick and eh, eh, pick. You know, be, you know, feed yeah. feed the vampire. Bang yeah. Bang front against it and call it a day. Yeah. You know, feeding the vampire. Like, oh, here you go. Take another sip. You know, Activision so. files lawsuit against Call of Duty cheater. There you go. Cheat. Right, yeah, and then uh, Activision has that, and I think Sledge is going is going to jump on that too. If I yeah, but it's Act- Act- Activision is the umbrella company, so yeah. if they're going to do it, everybody else is just like, yeah. Dad, take care of it. Mm-hmm. Hold on, where's my Twitter at? Yeah, there we go. Engine owning sells cheese for a variety of Call of Duty games, including Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Vanguard, Black Ops. It's also advertising cheat software for games like Halo Infinite, Titanfall 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, as well as spoofing software designed to bypass bans. Access to the software is available on subscription basis, ranging from roughly $5, $5 for three days of access to around $45 for 90 days of access. Mm-hmm. All right, so this was uh, looking at Charlie Intel here, uh, saying that uh, they got some changes coming. Uh, this is coming from Sledge, Sledgehammer. Uh, changes to help with the completion of the Panzerfaust challenge. Perk adjustments to help counter all things fire. <laughs> hmm, okay. Um, we've been saying, won't you go ahead and get a trophy system? That's right, because yeah. Vanguard doesn't have a trophy, does it? No, it does not have a trophy system. Uh, that is great. And weapon balancing, ba- uh, weapon balancing pass. So it's gonna be some snipe buffs and shotgun nerfs. Look, all I can say is, if I can no longer be sniped from a cross map with a shotgun, dual pistol shotguns. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And a tweak uh, to model barrage to reduce duration. Thank you, cause bro, anybody that use that uh, that martyr, it's like the bombs just keep going on for like good five, like maybe two minutes. Like it's just still bombing, still oh, yeah. bombing. That was like, yeah, we were doing that earlier. X Call of Duty dev says the series needs an overhaul. You think? You think? Oh, they Ladies got- and gentlemen, welcome to fucking ten years ago. <laughs> bro i'm telling you it, but you know it's like yeah bro you 10 years late but these a de- de- lot of them is coming out man it's, it's talking now bro call of duty fans heartbroken as vanguard gets the same number of twitch viewers as people sleeping and you know you're speaking about the double barrel shotguns yeah the akimbo double barrel shotguns it said, uh, just is coming. There it goes. 
like Raven Raven Software said, we are aware of the concern regarding the Akimbo double barrel shotguns, the VG. Uh, an adjustment is coming in the near future. Stay tuned. Like, yeah, okay. You should you should have known that from the beginning. If you was playing your game, if you was playing your game, you would have known that. Well, here's their problem. Activision Blizzard employee is still striking over Call of Duty Warzone layoffs. There's your problem. Mm-hmm. All of the t- game testers that they have in house, <clears throat> yeah, are striking. They're they're not working. So nobody's play testing anything, and if they are play testing it, they don't know how to fix it. Or the people that build it are like, well, now nah, I guess we got to play it here, Fred. Try this out. See if it works. Oh, it's broken. All right. Well, let me fix it. How about now? Still broken. What you still know. what still drives me crazy though is that you had a tester that you know what was open to the community. And I'm gonna reach out to a friend of mine okay. that worked at the Tiburon Studios mm-hmm. in Orlando, and that's what he did. He was a game tester. He tested and fixed help fix bugged code. We can figure this out. I'm gonna reach out to him and just be like, "Hey, I need you to come on the show." That'd be oh yeah. man, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. We, we got to make an announcement. I don't, if he I don't do think that. he's doing it anymore. I but know still, we tried for a while. But, but we can get his insight, you know, uh, you know, testing what they look for, what they do, you know, yeah. things like that. A coder, always a coder. And that man can code some <gasps> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm like, I'm like this, man, that, that, um, that when I did that to that lady, she, she was like opening to the public trying to get feedback from us about the game to make the game better. And what they do is have her discontinue her Twitter account and at the same time fired her for for doing, for doing, we're trying to help the game. Mm -hmm. Here's one for you. Call of Duty Warzone mobile claimed to be released in 2022. Yeah, I saw that. Let's see here. What else? Um, I don't know if you give a crap about anything with the the pro scene and Call of Duty. I follow it a lot, but I only follow one team, and they merged with another team. Yeah, I know Ooh. you don't care. Ooh. This podcast ain't about you. Well, it is about you because you're a viewer. But well, so yeah, I so don't. Who merged cares. with who? I missed that. Optic, Optic Gaming merged with Envious Gaming. Oh, really? Now they're still Optic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just pretty much they just acquired. They, they, they just combined, acquired. They just acquired. They, they they merged and combined resources. Okay. So because Envy has been stale and lackluster on the content side of things, and Optic has always been really good about doing content. You know, that's, you know, I've, I've followed Optic Gaming shit since they were doing snipe videos on YouTube. So early, you know, 2000s mm-hmm. shit before. Yeah. Early 2000s, you know, so they, uh, cause I'm in a, I'm in a Twitter. I'm, I'm looking at the CDL league right now and see what they, any announcements that they're making. No, that I mean, the, the big complaint with the CDL league is their season doesn't start till February. The game comes out in November, so from November to February, you have nothing. And teams are like, "Why don't you allow?" Because CDL doesn't allow their pro pro players to play in an un, unsanctioned tournaments. Yeah, so. Like me, you, Kings, and Army of One get together, throw a three thousand dollar prize pool together, and have a two v two, you know, one and done Call of Duty tournament. Mm-hmm. The pro teams have to divide up, and you know they can't play with their four team roster. They have to play with one person or three people or two people, you know, whatever. But and, and, and they don't have anything. I think in the next coming weeks, they have like um, and like an inaugural free-for-all thing. Mm-hmm. But 
<clears throat> where their problem is is Halo released Halo Infinite multiplayer on the 20th anniversary of Halo and that weekend that weekend had a tournament for the pros that weekend which means that the pros have had the game probably for th two weeks previous to us getting it hmm and the one and and, uh, and then you have uh pro players <laughs> you have uh pro players is like they quitting um and going playing um do tourneys for halo <laughs> yeah i mean well with optic gaming yeah Optic merged with envy they dropped two players or they dropped one player one player retired from call of duty yeah Re retired. I mean, uh like, that's the one i'm talking about he retired from call yeah. of duty and he's going to yeah. do halo yeah. retired, well because he used to play halo mm -hmm. and now he's playing halo for the sentinels yeah yeah because the one of the sentinels players can't play because he was cheating he was geo filtering, so he was forcing them to play on his servers that he's local to. Oh, Eric wow. was giving him a lower ping time, and they're struggling to get into lobbies. Yeah, it, it was a big thing. Like they suspended him for like three tournaments, and yeah, the whole big thing. So they dropped him, and then they worked out a deal with Optic Envy. To pick up formal because formal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was playing on loan but he's still a member of optic gaming as a content creator uh -huh. but he's playing for the sentinels which is hilarious because there are a lot of videos of like the call of duty guys playing halo yeah you expect optic company playing halo and then all of a sudden he turns around and he gets his ass handed to him and it's formal <laughs> it's like, Damn, man. And he's literally leaning back in his chair yelling down you know down yeah. the yeah. headquarters that's where formal's playing at you know it is wow these guys are playing in dallas frisco texas mm -hmm. and one of the biggest esports cities on the planet like they got this big ass arena I mean, it's ridiculous. But, I mean. Hey, what'd you, let me ask you, here's another random thing. Uh, what you think about this? And what y'all think about this? What? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. No, not, not fart noise. That's, that's, I'm going to talk about that next week. Uh, no, no. <laughs> do they stink when you're in the tub taking a bath? Do they fart? Do they stink when you fart? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. They do because the they bubbles because it's, it's gas hot. and it's you got a bubble yeah. that come out and then once it come up the oh, the gas bro. is released into the air and you smell it so um but ah. no uh what do y'all think about this man remember I I talked about this years ago I mm -hmm. said what if I said what if we all link up be playing and I actually did mm -hmm. some research on how to do it is to actually have a goon squad. In a CL, Land CDL. Oh, dude, that's uh, expensive. Yeah. I looked at it, and I was like, whoo, it's pretty much. A million five to get in, to buy a hundred, slot. A hundred grand oh. to start. Yeah. To start. And that's that's just for the slot. That's yeah. That's not. And then you gotta now, buy. Then you the, then we're not even talking about like the equipment and y'all practicing together and then, you know all that other stuff. It's like, whoo. Well, and uh, pretty much at this point in time, if I'm anybody gonna, was to try to jump into a CDL and be a pro, they gotta sponsor you. <laughs> they well, got. So, my son Sheldon, you've played with, mm -hmm. is. Like me, he's a diehard Optic fan. You know, Scumpy shits gold bricks, can't do wrong by anything, which is hilarious because Scumpy does a lot of wrong. He, oh, he, he, he Scumpy piss excellence, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wake up, I piss excellence. You know, uh -huh. but he, uh, you know, he, he has, you know, wants hey, to. What's up? What's up, Beast? 
What's going on, man? He wants to go pro. And I told him, I was like, well, for starters, you have to make a, an MLG and a game battles account and you have to start playing. You have to find people that are playing and you have to play mm-hmm. every day. For every hours. Day. For hours. And he got good. He was really good at, you know, Cold War. He got really good at it. Like, I mean, me, you, him, and Seth went shit ass out bananas yeah and see if i and the thing is i know if i play uh if i play for hours you good kings uh, what's up yo uh, I, I, if you're talking about gaming not, no, bro, bro if, let me if, first of all let me all right not, let me tell y'all something man i watched king play battlefield dudes on he's a beast he's a beast on there man i don't want to hear that battlefield last night. you can ask alexa i'm no good at For real, man. It, like, let me tell you something. I don't know how. I don't know how. His the action he gets versus the action I get when I play Battlefield. It's totally the two different. Two Dude, different I'm areas. Dude, I'm watching blow my head off from across the map. I'm just like, I, I I can't even see you, and you're two tapping me with a pistol from across the map. From across the Me-ness map. Smells fishy. But you know. And. Dice would, Dice would never have anything with cheaters. I watched in King it. play, and I thought I, the way he was playing that game, I thought I was watching a, 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 a multiplayer on Call of Duty. That's how that's how that's how dude would be taking. He, he was just going off. Well, he needs to get a Vanguard then. He needs to come backpack us around for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I I don't mind. I mean, I hope I hope you got a strong back. I'm, I I take a seat. I'll be right there. <laughs> Hey, I, look, we all have those games. I mean, the last game we played today, me and you backpacked that oh, whole team. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. That was. We were just lining them up. If you, because I was watching one angle, if you'd watch the other, we'd have probably never had a death that entire game. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like. Because all it takes. And the thing is, the angle, hold on, when we was doing it, the only way they could have stopped us, they spawned the team right behind us. <laughs> that's, that's what they did. They spawned the team right behind us. Well, I, I mean, but we went off on that game. We went off on that last round, man. It was like the goons was at the top, and I love to see that. When I see the goons, man, oh, I'm I'm all in the mic. They're like them goons, baby. Giggity, It was great, man. Yeah, man. So let's see what else we got. Warzone players want one major change to Boring Caldera map. Yes. Um, easier line of sight? Hmm? I don't know. Let me click on it and see what it says. Mm-hmm. i tell you one thing. One, I could say this about Vanguard while you're looking that up. The one thing I would say about Vanguard is the visual. It's just if Don't. I it, it's not no it, it's not that it's just too much in your line of sight, and I think that's where they're going with it. The line of sight when you trying to like if you run with well, the like if you run with the gun, guess what? They got the gun. Like if you're doing a modern warfare, your gun come up to the side. Okay, it's like this. All right. No, and you watch how you run with the gun. And now, if you have with Vanguard, if you have ammo that's got the two pits as the barrel, you know, for to hold your bullets, okay, mm-hmm. they got the wells. You mm-hmm. run the that barrel is like this. Yeah, and the biggest would, problem, and you will not be able to see anybody on your right side of that screen biggest problem with that game was we were promised fov sliders on console mm-hmm. and they were like well we're just going to copy paste it into the modern warfare engine which doesn't have that no that was the biggest hot damn point with cold war was they gave us an fov slider let me open up my field of view let me be competitive with the pc player who's running at 300 frames a second yeah on 120 field of view yeah no you're gonna lock me in at a fucking 80 or a 90 degree field of view. Yeah, they could see me. They could see me on a regular site, 800 yards away as a dot. 
and can still pick me off. And I can't, <laughs> I don't know where they are. I mean, in, in Cold War, I mean, and, and it's it's a definite noticeable difference. If you pull your FOV out, say 110, mine ran at 110, your guns don't recoil as much because you're firing in a much smaller pattern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if you yeah. nail it in, fucking recoils all over the place. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Give me, give me an FOV. You know, we were hoping with Warzone. They're like, nope, because it's the same. It's the same engine. That's the problem is you can't build something on the same fucking engine that's broke. I and the thing is, I had I actually had this discussion. I actually had discussion with Just Reloaded. Hold on. Look, all I can say is, Steam or whoever makes Super People. Bring it to console. It's a PUBG replacement. Looks so much better. Mm. Looks good. I mean, I've watched some people play it. It takes some getting used to. But you can upgrade your weapons on the fly. You get patterns. You can craft. You can you can do stuff. You take little blue pills or red pills or green pills or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you get special abilities that you know one of them allows you to teleport a little bit one of them drops an entire smoke screen that your opponent can't see shit in you can see it all but they can't see shit it's, a, it's always a good feeling when your party leads the way yeah it said it said let me be great uh-huh it said also king was like also is good feeling when you playing with people you know oh yeah it's always a great feeling absolutely absolutely man oh how many times we vibe um in this um in league play on cold mm-hmm. oh my god man it you know, we had we when we went down we went down together but oh my god when we vibe together it's ridiculous like oh hey i, I mean we had like so many dubs in a row <laughs> right you know king get vanguard let me know boy we'll get you in i asked you if you the other day if you wanted to come on the show tonight I'll send you an invite right now. Mm-hmm. We send you an invite. You can jump on in. You ain't, you ain't even got to be on video. You can just be, hey, man, I'm talking. Mm-hmm. Headset in your phone. Chill out in the bathroom. I don't care. <laughs> long as we don't hear no... You know. <laughs> I really like playing Call of Duty. Like, duty. Plot, boy. <laughs> this ain't special plots. It's a Call of Duty. <laughs> It's a light my, my plant. Daughter, my, <laughs> my daughter got me that it's a Call of Duty special plops, and it's somebody sitting on the toilet. It called a Duty. Call of Duty <laughs> special plops. Yep. Oh. I know the word to work for. <laughs> uh, so, who does all pet it? Yeah, so the Ooh. biggest thing is you, the biggest point of interest is in the dead center of the map, and that's that's the issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it's annoying. Who do number two work for? Sp- you know, spill it out, spit it out. Who do number two work for? <laughs> if you don't tell me, I'm going to beat this out of you. <laughs> Too late. Too late. And that's what. Omnicron is here. California extends indoor mask mandate through February 15th. There are parts of Canada that are on full lockdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and while we're down here going, hey, I can still see my golf ball. Yeah. Because look, dude, the Omnicron variant. Take your, take, take your, take your stuff. Uh-oh. Hold on. What happened to my camera? Oh, that's what I did. My bad. I put my own cup in front of my camera. <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude. I get it. You look weird. That, that was really? Look, hey, look. All right, there you go. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey our ratings just went up three points. Right? <laughs> oh, it went back the down show, six. The show stock went up 100 points, and then it <laughs> dropped way back to negative again. It's like, it's like my uh, cryptocurrency, man. So Seth invests in cryptocurrency, got me investing in cryptocurrency. So if you don't know, you can download an app called Coinbase. It's not sponsored, but it's all cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. That's where I got it. And he tried to get me, you know, he's like, hey, Dogecoin's doing really well. Mm -hmm. Like it's way up. 
and oh, let me check. Ship, I ain't checked in a minute. See, I got ship, it. Too. Ship is doing very well as well. Well, currently Dogecoin sitting at sixteen cents. Where can you get the raise energy? Well, my good man, if you DM me, I have three cases. I can send it to you. Or if you're local to, say, the Nashville area, I will bring it to you, hand it to you personally. Set it in your car. You can drive away. Yep. However, on his channel and on my channel, right down here, mm -hmm. click the link, get you a sample pack. And you can so use... Either you, get the money back. you can use TAC06 uh, or you can use Illspit313 and you get 15% off of your order. Blue Ridge, yeah, that's a bit distance for me. Chattanooga is about as far as I'll drive. <laughs> and, I mean, I'll drive to Orlando, but, you know, that's yeah. Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. But this, this is the limited edition Frank and Sour flavor that they released for Halloween. They re released it and we got, yeah, see, seven natural, seven hours. Well, if you leave now, I can meet you in the morning. <laughs> and I'm not, and I'm, not and I'm, I'm another hour north of Nashville. I'm in Bowling Green. Oh, God. That's, so eight, so that's eight and a half. Eight, eight, eight and a half hours away from you. So, yeah, there's eight. And we got snow coming. So it's going to be really, 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 you got to work at five. Yikes. Oh, you still doing them early hours. Oh, God. Look, man, I ain't got to work. I, I ain't, ain't got nothing. I, I ain't been to work since November 10th, and I'm not going to talk about it because, you know. Yeah, you say you got to go to the doctor tomorrow? <sighs> Monday. Monday, Monday. Yeah, I got it. Um, and and I, think, um, I think tomorrow, either tomorrow or. Good, man. Um, Appreciate you swinging in, hanging out. So, yeah, you 20 inches tonight. Bro, where do you live? He said milk don't deliver itself. Yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, it depends. If you work at the dairy farm, it delivers. Because <laughs> sometimes you find cows on your front porch. <laughs> Get fresh. <laughs> but you got to pasteurize it, that milk, man. It's utterly disturbing. Yeah. It's a good point. <laughs> oh man. Uh so You're on West Coast. Yeah, dude. No, you guys have been getting snow fucking all week. Yeah, we're supposed to get five to six inches tonight, and I'm in bowling green, so it's it's not been fun. Yeah, and uh we looking to starting Thursday night. That's when the snow flurry is gonna come our way. And he all says the way to says watch out for falling cows on the mountain next to us. <laughs> The falling. <laughs> yeah, He's starting at nine a.m. We're supposed to be getting snow. It's nuts. Yeah, and then nine p.m. Yeah. here tomorrow, and all the way until Friday, they got an advisory from nine to five a.m. on Friday morning, and looking to get two to five inches. I need you to post that picture in Discord, Boothby, or send it to me on Twitter. Yeah, we're supposed to get some sort of risk. Yeah. Send me this sign. I have to see this. Wait, wait, wait. The watch beware of falling cows. Is he he put it on your Discord? I don't well, no, he can put it in yours. That's fine. No, that was I just wanted because I was gonna go there. I was gonna take a look myself. Oh, he puts it in my Discord, I don't care. Or he can send it to me on Twitter. Instagram. Okay. So but yeah, so Shib is and i'm not entirely sure ship averse shiba inu is uh point zero 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 four zeros three zero that is what one ship coin cost i Initially invested, and this is that this is going to be the the sad part because I've burned a lot of it out into actual. Uh... So I initially invested like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 
And then I moved it over to SHIB. Not SHIB, but uh, the other one. So out of about $70 worth of investment, I, it's currently sitting at 1634 I have 552,992 SHIB coins. <sighs> wait a if that stuff wait gets anywhere remotely close to a penny. Are you talking about... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Say those numbers again. You put 70, and currently right now you're at 16? Oh, yeah. No, I've lost my ass so far. Woo! Woo! All right. Well, I appreciate the Twitter follow, my mans. He out here doing is business. There's this one on Discord I can join to link up with you. Exchange info and have my people contact your people. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I, I, I don't know if you're still in mine. Um, if you if you and Ill Spitz Discord, you follow me on Twitter, you can DM me there. Yeah. Speaking of DMing in the Twitters and the whatnot. So, as many of you know, if you've been keeping track of the show, I've started doing leather work. Yes. And a while ago, I've made some wallets and given them out as Christmas gifts as, you know, demo <clears> units <throat> and whatnot. <clears throat> so I made I've made a couple keychains, you know, just goofing off and Hold whatnot. On, real so, quick, real quick. Hey, Army of One, no, uh, my bot is not working right now because I couldn't run both the Discord and uh, my OBS at the same time. But if you scroll down uh, to my profile, I put the link of the Discord. It's in there, so you should you be able to see it. So um, I made keychains. Well. Alexa, my girlfriend, decided one day that she's going to pick the keychain up and start and ran into my son's room and started slapping him with it. Army one just slid into the server. Uh oh. This is not going to be good for the home team. <laughs> for the Xbox app. All right. Um, okay, I got it. I think. Okay, so it's heroic. Okay, gotcha. There he is. He said, "Holy crap, dude! That is crazy. I am so." Where, did he put? Did he put into your Discord or he DM you? Oh, he sent it. He sent it to me, um, via the Xbox app. Oh, okay. I'm gonna yeah. post it in Discord because I'm gonna screenshot it. Maybe if it'll let me. But uh, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, What's going on, Lou? What's up, man? My man, Lou Cypher, is in the building. What's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid. So, anyway, moving along. Um, Why don't you have Discord, dude? You can get it on your phone. Hello? Who? So... She whacked, walked in the room, whacked in the room, walked in the room and started slapping him with stuff. And then she came out and had the bright idea. She's like, you guys are always talking about teabagging people. It would be hilarious if you could do this in real life. So we sat and we talked about it. And here we are with the birth of the, uh -oh. the, the finalized prototype of the RTBs, which is Ill Spitz brand. The RTB the Royal Tea Bag. <laughs> And they're branded. And it looks like a <laughs> And you can hold it in your hand. And then you can just teabag people when they piss you off. I love it. I love it. This, this one here in particular is going to the man on the screen right now. This one's coming to him. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. So, but I have different colors. So you can get it in. You know, veg tan leather. You can get it in a dark brown leather. <laughs> and if you're feeling extra spicy, I've got like six rolls of black leather sitting right over here. Mm -hmm. And I can make it. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want one, you can DM me your address. Yeah. And he's, hey, this is not a joke. He's serious. Seriously, this is real. This is real. Yeah, it's Bro. 10 bucks to you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Uh, first yeah. me engrave it with my maker's mark, the RTB logo, and whatever else you want to put on it. I mean, as long as it's not too big. I mean, they're tiny little balls. So uh, it's RTB, the Royal Tea Bag. Tabogs. <laughs> Royal Tabogs. Tabogs. <laughs> so heroic, my man. How have you been? I missed gaming with you. Hey, Lou, we doing good, man. We having fun here. We doing all right. Uh, Welcome to the show. Welcome to the randomness that the is random, this show. Yes, the randomness that is this show. Random stuff cast. Father I w- arrested in connection with missing seven-year-old Manchester. Wow, okay. Hold on. Chicago Public Schools cancels Thursday classes amid COVID deadlock. Oh, wow. Here we go. Okay. Giselle Maxwell to seek new trial after jurors, jurors sexual abuse claim lawyer. Here we go. Look, she is and was a part of the scum of the earth. That was the Jeffrey Epstein horse shit. And he got off easy. Yeah. If anybody should be getting the royal tea bags, it's that man. And anybody associated with him. And there's been a lot of people photographed with him. I'm, if you've been in a photograph with that man, you need to have the royal tea bags, brick tea bags, dropped on your melon ass head. And I don't care who's listening. The shit that man did. And what's worse is he lived in West Palm Beach, Florida. He lived out on the Palm Coast, which is. East Coast separated from the mainland Florida. That man lived probably five miles away from where my aunt lived in Florida, in West Palm. You come out of her little subdivision, hang a right on the main drag, go down, cross the bridge, and his house was right there. I probably drove past it a hundred times in the 90s, 80s, going to Florida, just driving around, seeing all the cool shit. You know, all the bushes and driveways mm. that is Palm Beach. The fact that she's seeking a trial is like, oh, I, I don't want to get in trouble. Lady, look, dude, you helped garner underage kids for this man and his crew. Oh, wow. I got another, I got another random stuff right here. He, all right. Okay, breaking news. Well, this is not really breaking news, but... Thousand held on cruise ship Abed Hong Kong COVID scare. More than 3,000 passengers and crew were being held on a major cruise liner in Hong Kong on Wednesday morning after a COVID scare promoted authorities to order the ship to return to the port. Nine people on board Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas which was on a cruise to nowhere around the South China Sea were identified as close contacts of a positive COVID case. Wait, wait, wait. On a cruise to nowhere? Yeah. That's a destination? No, it just said, yeah, uh, which was on a cruise to nowhere. So it's probably one of those cruises. They're just on a cruise and just, just being yeah, out on out. sea and then come back. Houston does it. It's like a three-day cruise. You go out. Yeah. One day and you cruise for a day and then you come back. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I just saw that. Um, I, I, me and Ilspit both got Vanguard. Yeah. Van, Van, Van Gogh Beach. So, here's something else that came out. I don't know if it was today or yesterday. Ubisoft is bringing its subscription service to Xbox. So, Ubisoft Plus. Mm. It's not coming to Game Pass, it's okay. coming as. Yeah, it's coming as its own. Mm, okay. So getting that pass would it give sure. us access to all their games? If you have their subscription, I would think so. However, Rainbow Six Extraction is coming to Game Pass day one. Vanguard, I think you can pick it up to for the Xbox. I think they pay you 50 bucks. I think that's how it's, mm-hmm. I, I, I know you can get like 39 bucks, I think 40. I think it's 40 bucks. 
for the Series S X version oh, for the cross gen. This whole this Donkeys. video game competition, bro. I'm sorry, man. Xbox has been hitting, doing some heavy swinging. They got to, like, these day ones they're coming out, man. It's like, bro. Bro. That, okay, yeah. I, and by the way, speaking of which, when it comes to the Xbox, I'm going to be ordering my hard drive. That actually, I found a four terabyte hard drive. Extended hard drive for ninety nine dollars on Amazon. Miss Ferocious, raise my hand. Look, I'm right. Look, even Pikachu right in your hand. Hey, yeah. If uh, yeah, I think if totals come to like one hundred and eighteen dollars with tax and all that. Yeah. Sorry, so. my dude. It's back up to sixty nine bucks for the cross gen. Oh, the, sure. uh, for the uh, Vanguard? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, the little uh, end of year sales over with. And me personally, I, I'm still, but here's the thing. I got the regular version. And I still play it on the S. Yeah. I can still play it on the S. I don't even see the purpose of even trying to pay an extra $10 to upgrade to the cross-gen version. It ain't much different. I have it the cross-gen version. Yeah, it's not much different. It's not only because I have an X and I refuse to play anything that, Hey. If, if, it, oh, yeah. if it has an XS, I'm going to, you know. I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you. I mean, heck, heck, uh, you, you, I mean, that's not a, the, the Xbox, the Series X is not a small price thing. You know, yeah, you want the top quality for those type of games to play on that. You don't want no, no rinky thing game. Who's the handsome young man next to you? Oh, this is Taco, Taco 6. Taco 6, my man, my buddy, Taco 6. Hello. You've probably seen me on the show a couple times. Sorry. Yeah. Butchered English accent. My bad. Didn't what? mean to offend anybody. But now you have a face to distract you from my voice. You're welcome. Well, here's the thing. And I, Lou, and I'm with you on that. I've always been a console player. I've yeah. always been a sort of console player. And the thing is, is that... Uh, to to convert for a PC player, which I had no problem with because I know I can still use a controller while I'm on PC. That's not a problem. But here's the thing. My PC, you know, for what I do right now, is really not compatible for me to even play a game and stream at the same time off of it. So I'm good with the console. You know, it make, me, make it do what I do, you know. I still want to upgrade this even to do what I'm doing now uh, to make it even better, to be get better quality because uh, I definitely want to uh, get a better camera and get it, um, you know, and upgrade my PC to enough where I can use two camera angles. Uh, like I'm like I'm using different angles right now because I'm on Discord, and then once I switch back, it's going to go back to my, my main camera when I go to my uh, gaming mode. So. Hey. Uh, Talk him up. I'm going to be right back. Okay, no problem. Yeah, so I don't mind. I have nothing against going getting a PC, but it just actually, uh, it makes sense for what I'm doing right now. It makes sense for me to be a console for what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, she got, yeah, gotcha. It took me three years to fully upgrade my rig. Yeah, see, and I, and I actually not too long ago had this. I think I had this PC now for about a year and a half, and I, and actually, I upgraded to this point where I'm able to do this now. So uh, it's, it's, it's just take time. It's slow. It's, it's, it's a slow thing, you know. And, uh, and King, you know, here's the thing, guys. I used to be a PlayStation fan. I used to be a PlayStation fan, you know, and then I, I got hooked on Xbox. And Xbox really won me over. Uh, everything that I do, the way I play, the way I like to interact with people and things like that, everything, it pretty much everything that I'm looking for, you know. Um, Ain't got nothing against PlayStation. I want a PlayStation. I want to get that just so I can get some of the exclusive games that I would love to play, like Spider Man, you know, and did I just God of War. You know. Did I just hear you me? No, I did not. No. Um, you said wanting to get a PlayStation. That's I, cussing me. No, um, 
<laughs> no, I was just talking to the guys, you know, about the PlayStation and stuff. You're like, uh, but I'm Xbox, you know, and I, and I have nothing against PlayStation. I the only reason I would get PlayStation because I do want to play some of the exclusive games like Spider Man, you know, and God of War, you know. Right. I mean, and here's 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 the kicker. If I want to go play PlayStation, I can go to my mom's house. Her husband has a PS4 Pro. There you go. Here, here, here's here here is okay. So give you some here's some random stuff. Um, so <laughs> my mom went in two thousand seven, mm -hmm. I think. Um, my uncle passed away, and then she was working as an assistant manager at Dollar General. Moved to Florida as an assistant manager at Dollar General. To help my aunt, you know, pack our shit and sell the house and whatnot and move move back to Tennessee. Move back to Tennessee. He had a four. Plays the, the mom got a PlayStation 4. Yeah. PS4 Pro. Pro, yeah. Yeah. Um, so she moves back to Tennessee and uh, th they basically were like, well, we don't have a position for you with the Dollar General Company currently at your rank so you can restart be a cashier and she's like fuck you kick rocks blow bubbles hi my name's bubbles <laughs> and uh so she sat collected unemployment for about three months figured out what she wanted to do and she comes in she knocks on my door you know i'm getting ready to go into work and she's like what would you think if i uh went and drove an 18 wheeler and i looked at her i said mom you're four inches or you're like six inches shorter than I am. Go for it. I mean, I'm all for it. I mean, whatever you want to do. So my mom is five foot, five foot one on a good day. Bro. <laughs> her biggest fear. Uh -huh. So, you know, her biggest fear was getting in the truck and not being able to reach the pedals. So she looked and looked and did research and found a company, CRST, you know, Mm-hmm which is a garbage company, but they pay for your school. They pay for your CDL. You sign a one-year contract. They pay to train you. Worked for her. So she meets her now husband in class. And, you know, they hang out with her, blah, 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 blah. Well, I meet the man for the first time. And, you know, I'm, I'm playing the son because, you know, I'm in mm -hmm. my 30s. And I'm like, motherfucker, you, what's your intentions with my mother? <laughs> <laughs> Lend you. Oh, no, I'm about to make an adjustment. Go ahead. I'm listening, though. He's like, you know, 6'2", twice my size. You know, he's a big dude. But he's nine years older than I am. Yeah. Nine. Mm. Nine. Got a young Tango Rony. <laughs> On a side note, I got the Dreamcast. Nine, nine, ninety nine. Bought, paid for in full. Bought all the games. Loved my Dreamcast. Traded it in for a PS2. Let me tell y'all something. I was, let me tell you something. At one point in time, I was the console guru. It's ferocious. I will gladly hate on PC. <laughs> I was the console guru. Let me tell you what I had. Well, especially when I was in high school, this is what I had. I had the Nintendo 64. And you get her. I had a PlayStation. I had a Sega Genesis. I had the Dreamcast. I had all of that, and I still had the old school Nintendo, the Super Nintendo. I had the Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, the uh, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, and... uh well, has her 360 at her mom and dad's with Connect. Wow. We hooked it up. What was it? We was there Christmas. Do it still come on with the ring, ring, all that? No, it, it, it's the white console. It's not the black one. So it's still the original console. Wow. Wow, bro. Her sister's boyfriend gave it to her because he got an Xbox One. But so we hook it up, and it was when uh, your friend was over. No, it was. Yeah. Was it Ayla's birthday? Oh. The first time we hooked it up at your mom and dad's this year. So it was my daughter's birthday. We hooked it up. It went through nine updates. <laughs> <laughs> but 
It gets better. Everything still works. Connect still works. Guitar Hero OG still works. OG Pac-Man. Let me tell you something. Oh, no, no, I got a story for you about Atari. And Atari every- 2600 Pac-Man. My parents yeah. having tournaments in their living room. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Look, people ask me, Spit, why you never had an Atari? And I'm going to tell you why. My dad hated Atari. He tried to test it out. My dad was on this thing. He wanted to get us something, but he was like, he was a kid at heart too. He never wanted to admit it, but he was a kid at heart. He tried to play the Atari. And we didn't even know he had it. He tried to play the Atari. And when we're talking to old school hard joystick, he, he, he said, I couldn't, he said, I couldn't stand that, that console. And he said, I went, I, said, I, got, I packed it back up. He said, I took it back and got my money back. <laughs> That's why you. That's why I never got the Atari. So my first gaming console ever was the Nintendo. <laughs> was the Nintendo. So heroic says my son's first game was Duck Hunt. Now he saves my ass in Warzone. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, my son played. Um. Well, he played the original Halo on Xbox because you mm-hmm. know he was still. He was two thousand three when he was born. Mm-hmm. And then so, Halo 2 came out with the multiplayer. Oh, my God. That was heaven sent. Halo 2 came out and broke the original Xbox because it was way too much for that system. Mm-hmm. Still played like a boss. The multiplayer was the best part of that game. I agree, King. We do need a new Def Jam game. We definitely need a new Def Jam game. Oh, my God. Well, now that Madden is officially possibly reverting back to not having the exclusive contract on the NFL, well, John Madden is dead. But Yeah. Rip a legend. Yes, yeah, yeah, Def Jam. I didn't really play much Def Jam, but I mean, a lot of people would play it. It's a good and fight I think, game. And I, think, I think NBA 2K kind of tried that with their NBA you know, Jam. NBA, NBA Jam. Jam. Oh my God. Like, what you know about Big Hip? Bro? Big Hip? Oh, man. Oh, my. Hold on. I would. Hold on. Let me tell you how much of a nerd I was. I would go to the arcade and go to a regular NBA Jam game and and put the code in. Put my yep. quarter in and put the code in, and we got everybody got the big head. <laughs> See yep. what you do to the game. I was like, let's play. Midnight Club. Oh, my God. Midnight Club was like one of the best race, racing games that was out there, bro. I used to love that game, man. Midnight Club. Oh man, that was that was like the game. And then right after that, that's when they had um uh, I played the original Need for Speed Underground. Mm-hmm. Heroic and that that was oh, I mean Need for Speed. There was some really good racing games. That was a Need good racing Speed game comic. Great. I don't know if you played it or not. I Need have. for Speed was great, dude. Yes. I love that game. Yeah, I have. My son's like, oh. He wanted he wanted Modern Warfare and he wanted Need for Speed. So I bought him the collector's versions of both for Christmas. Man, I love Need for Speed. Midnight Club was so awesome, man. Like the cruise that you hit, the just say, oh my God, I think that game was so fun, man. And I, I, me personally, I ain't gonna lie. I love it when I was on the Harley. I, I, I love the bikes. I was always riding the bikes, man. You put me on a bike, I'm, I'm gone, bro. I'm racing everybody with a bike. I'm gone. I don't care. <laughs> That's what I did the whole time. Heroic, and here, here's where it gets interesting, is you get, uh, so I'm a gamer. My son's a gamer. My dog, yeah, that's a good one, too, yeah. Pursuit was great. It was a great game. That was a the first one was amazing because it was the first time you're being chased by cop, cop cars. Yes. Dude, you run and run and run, and then they start blowing your shit out. It was great. <laughs> I love but, it. So the bon- benefit of me being a gamer in – you know, my kids being Xbox gamers is the little known thing for Xbox is home Xbox. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> my son's console is my home console. So whatever I buy, he has. So I buy it for myself, for him, for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a twofer. It's a twofer. He knows. <laughs> That's the thing is he knows. <laughs> Uh, see, it's the way. And, 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 and that's the gift that keep. Oh, the escalates. Yeah, uh, that's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I, mean, I, I told him 
his is my home Xbox, and he comes and he logs in on mine a lot. Sometimes when I'm not home, and then I come home and I'm wondering why everything's all jacked up. I ain't doing oh. that. Hold on a second. Come here. Come here. You ain't, you ain't got to get in front of the camera. <clears throat> you can just lean up right here and say hello. Hi, Daddy. Hello, son. <laughs> oh, the creepy face. It's <laughs> easy. It is. Anyway, so, but I told him, I was like, so you make my console home, I make his home. That way, if he buys a game, I get it. If I buy a game, he gets it. I got to I gotta see how I can do that with my, with, uh, yeah, because, you know, my kids, once I upgrade to this hard drive, you know, they get my old X Xboxes. Right. So. So you make that system your home system. Uh-huh. You log in, and then you go into your settings, select it as home. Right. And that way, whatever games you buy or your mom buys for you, <laughs> you. Yeah. And then, they, what's that? Oh, wait. So. Yeah, so I told you today that her friend Amy had the BB. So here's Amy and the BB. Oh, oh. It's not very, it's very blurry. I can see. Is that the baby crying? Mouth, yeah. mouth wide open. Ah! Actually, she was yawning. Oh, okay. Oh, why is she crying? Alexa pinched her. Alexis, that's, come on now. I'm pinched the baby. I'm pinching that baby. You know, pinching that baby. No, I didn't have to pinch that baby. That baby was squalling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. There's another picture. The baby was yeah. oh, oh, oh. out the frying pan and into that, life. That, that, that baby singing. Oh. <laughs> you have a video of the baby coming? I was about to be like, damn, she told you not to take pictures of the baby coming out. Did she, did she get to cut the umbilical cord, though? Did she, did she take a no, video no, of them oh no, no. like pictures of the birth canal like jesus no, christ no, 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 no shots of her best friend no i, I thought it was like alessio i think you're trying to be too like involved i, even, I think like you, i didn't even pick around no, no, no. <laughs> i was like no. yeah, i think i think you're trying to be too involved jesus christ <laughs> so i'm eventually gonna have to i think because this is the second microphone i've bought from this company which, which company is that uh, Thelby. Okay. It was it was it, it was a cheap microphone off Amazon, and it came with like its own little shitty ass mix amp. Like well, that. the microphone that I'm yeah. using is um yeah. actually from J Labs. Oh, look at oh wow. She's like fuck off. Right. <laughs> I ran this bitch. Uh -huh. It's like I know what I'm doing up in here. <clears throat> right. Like I run this. Like I've until been, she gets. I've I've been here three times before. So no. <laughs> There's not one. No, but uh, oh, and that's cute. That's very pretty. You know what that picture does for me? It makes me really, really glad that my kids are grown as fuck. <laughs> like, oh, all right, take them back. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not new. Like, Amy, I love you to death, but you kids can go home yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but the mic I'm using here is uh, J Lab, J Lab Audio. This was actually um. Ninety nine dollars is uh they talk and go mic. Uh yeah. so this is the one I've been using and stuff. So USB mic? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. So uh, and the stand I got the stand I'm using here, I got that from Yeti. Um, I got that from Amazon. I got this from Amazon, the stand I'm using. Yeah, the stand, the microphone, everything <laughs> came in that box. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's an obvious hey, this is not a box from China. Even though it came in a cardboard, plain wrapped cardboard box, covered in brown tape. Like every square inch of the box was the brown packing tape. Oh, like uh, live from Japan. Look, look like a drug dealer package. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the Amazon guy handed it to me, and he's like, "Is it ticking?" Oh, look, it's <laughs> like it's just what the package is that ticks. So I ordered one and that, that's crazy because I ordered this and then for some reason it quit working. Like I couldn't get nothing to work. So I went through Amazon and was like, hey, I need a replacement. And they sent me a replacement and a refund. 
okay. Okay. We'll go with that. Yeah. So they're like, well, you got to ship the microphone back. And I'm like, okay. Well, I'll ship some of that microphone back. Because <laughs> the microphone still worked. Like I hooked all the new stuff up and was just like testing parts. All right, what's broken? What's not broken? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was just the, the little cheap mix amp that it came with. In fact, I've got it down here. I'll send you a picture of it later. Mm-hmm. But it, that was broke. It, something in it wasn't plugging in and it wasn't working. But all the cables worked, everything worked. So I gave it to my daughter and was like, here, I'll just put something in the box that looks like it's heavy, like mm-hmm. there's a microphone in it, because you can do that with Amazon. Yeah. I mean, everybody. But, and what made it worse was Amazon processed my claim and my refund before I even got the package to replace it. So, yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, that is nuts. And that's another story. So, Hmm. Also goes to Walmart in Russellville, Arkansas, buys a Series 2 controller or Series 2 Elite with his per diem. And then the right bumper after a year and a half of having <clears throat> it, it's working. Awesome ass girlfriend has an Amazon card. We order a new one to replace and then defect out the old one through Amazon because Amazon's awesome like that works just fine. She goes to send them the email of, Hey, this is defective. I need to send it back. It'll take three days, whether we decide to do it or not. After four days, she emailed Amazon and Amazon's like, enjoy the package. And here's your money back. So I have a series two elite sitting somewhere over in the, I have to pull it apart. I bought buttons I just have to pull it apart and solder in the button to replace it to fix the controller. It sounds like what I went through when I was trying to get my Elite 2 controller. No, but you got ripped. Hold on, I did. A new controller that was used. Yeah. And this is the this is the new this is the used controller, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. This no no actually this is the one they sent to me as a replacement. This is the one they sent to me as a replacement. Okay, so yeah, yeah this is the one they sent to me as a replacement. This is the one that I the other day I accidentally dropped and now this button don't work no more. So I got to get it fixed. I found a place where I can get it fixed. Um, nice. And also I found a place that I can get this fixed because the aux. Is is that the, is that the other elite two? Yeah. So you have two of them. Yeah, I have two of them. Now here's the thing. Hold on. It's just like you, just like you. Uh, when I asked for the refund from GameStop, and I they sent just, the just old mind. control controller back, okay, they gave me a refund, and then yet all of a sudden I get an alert, a text message that a package is at my door, and guess what they did? They sent me a new the another used controller xbox nice. elite controller but the only problem with this one is is that the aux the the audio yeah, is that's very that's low that's what was having a microphone issue because i was like dude i can't hear you yeah like, okay yeah. either yeah but no i've been using it i actually use it when we play i've used this now when we play it's the really? uh, yeah so what that is and then matter of fact at that time i was playing on my old headset so i got the new headset so uh but the uh, aux needs to be fixed on here because it was sounding real low. The sound comes in real low. I can hear, but the sound is coming in real low. So, but I got that same shit scenario. I so I'm blessed with two elite controllers here. I'm blessed with two elite controllers here, and yep. pretty much. Uh, and I think if I pay, um, I'm gonna go to play. It's a place called You Break It, We Fix, and mm-hmm. um, they actually do fix like consoles and stuff like that and, and controllers. And they, they even specifically say, yeah, if you got a stick drift, we can make it better, you know, on a controller. They just put it in. So the big deal with this Elite Series 2 was, and, and after reading a shit ton of forums and whatnot, is the buttons that they used in the Series Elite 2 are, like, super cheap. Like, super cheap. And the Series 1 buttons were, like, God mode buttons. Like, you could throw the controller against a brick wall and everything still works. Here's the here's my Series X my Series my Series controller, right here, and I haven't used yeah, 
And so, I did so try one, to play. I did try so this to play one, with this. Dude, you can't. I can't. I no. can't, man. I can't. No, I can't. No. It hurt I, my, I, Oh, my God. It, it, it didn't even that it hurt. It just feels weird in my hand. It did. It did. Uh, I'm but with, now I know why we keep, when you play with Morgan, you get the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think, he's, you think he's in there just jamming on these things no, man like no, trying to get they just make fucking noise yeah you hearing oh, all man. that you hearing all that right there that's what but, you hear <laughs> but see and then you pick up this one and you're like yeah yeah and it and it's short see look the short trigger i, I can't oh dude yeah no oh. i got it I got to have it. The that, only time I that, that, trigger look, stop, that, that look, look at what I'm doing. I'm pulling all the way in. It's, I'm thinking I'm about to do a short trigger and I'm, I feel like my finger is like I'm balling the fist to, to pull the trigger. Yeah, <laughs> and, see, oh. and I can show y'all. I can show y'all. Look, look, look. As the, if y'all see the difference, look, oh, I'm going to see if I get the camera right. You get the angle. So as y'all can see, look, as I pull this, she has short. Look. Look at my finger. Yeah, the bad, sad part is, is they both have the exact same activation point on that trigger. Yeah, but it makes you, but with this, it makes you pull in more. Yeah. And, well, it's and, because. And then look at the, especially if you're a shooter, look at the reaction time you would actually get. Bro, I played with this one time on Vanguard. I was getting wrecked all over the place, bro, because my mm -hmm. timing was off. My whole yep. timing was off, bro. But uh, oh man, it's twelve oh seven. Yeah, buddy, we've been at it for over two hours, fifteen minutes. Yep, yep. Two hours, sixteen minutes. Well, I have anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. So for those that are late here, somebody else was late. Army, I want to appreciate the follow. Thirty six minutes ago, I ain't hating. I'm glad he's here. <laughs> Just gonna rub it oh, in, I, huh? I, me. And that's weird. Well, see, and that was the thing is if I had the other microphone, I've got an extra XLR. I could, I've got two ports on my mix amp, so I could just, mm -hmm. and set up a mic and Alexa can, so can talk to people, even though that's dangerous. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very filtered all right so um mr spit let the people know where they can find you okay uh y'all can find me of course you can find me here on twitch twitch.tv slash ill spit 313 you can also can find me in my on my discord just scroll down and make sure y'all join on my discord also join the vip streamers club discord if y'all looking to make connections and build up yes Go there also, and also uh, NXL Gaming. There's a great community. That's where Miss Ferocious and, Lu and Lucifer is at from. Um, so make sure y'all connect there. But yeah, if you want to follow me, also I am in on the spark of building my YouTube channel. So please, everyone, if you can, go down there, go to YouTube. Uh, my link is in my bio. Click on there and uh, you will see all my other videos. I have highlights. And if you like to see this podcast and you are unable to see the whole thing, you want to come and see uh, what we've been talking about and everything, you can find this tomorrow on my YouTube channel. So this will be up on my YouTube channel tomorrow. All right. So, where, hey, Taco, where can they find you? Everywhere you look. For a taco at Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Taco Bell. No, nope. everything is really, it's Taco Six. T O T T A C Zero T A C Zero S I X. Don't be surprised if you see this has been sponsored by Taco Bell <laughs> on hey. this channel. Don't be surprised. I don't mean look, Nacho Bell Grandes uh, for everybody. Uh huh. Yep. Taco Six foot and back ointment. Yeah, buddy. Get right in there, man. Get right in there. Got them corn you gotta, off. Got to get in the tools. You got to get it. You got to put your fingers right in the tools. So, but yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Taco6. You can find me on Instagram at Taco6. You can find me on the TikTok. I released another TikTok today or the other day. You did? I didn't see that. I got to catch that. I didn't get the alert. It's basically me announcing the RTBs. Oh, okay. 
is it's like the item to your left, your immediate right, is going to make you famous. And then I turn the ca- I set it up purposefully for this, but then I turn the camera and there he is hanging in its illustrious glory. The RTB. <laughs> and all credit, yes, goes to Alexa. She gets yes percent of everything I make. Thank you, Alexa. Yeah, <laughs> because that money gets you know put into savings, mm-hmm. rent, <laughs> rent, cable, electric. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> All right. Boogaloo. Boogaloo, right. So, but yeah, I mean, just pretty much everything. I try to make everything the same. Mm-hmm. You know. And then right. uh, you can find me, uh, like I said, if you're going to go to my TikTok, it's, uh, it's it's underscore ill spirit 313. And uh, you see me on Instagram, it's underscore ill spirit 313. Uh, so, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. I don't know how I'm the pretty one. You are way better looking than I am. Who, Alexa? What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. No, she's like, you're the prettier one. And I'm like, mm, no. No, no. We're going to. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and put a poll. No, I'm just playing. Put a poll up. <laughs> put a poll up. Don't put a, look, don't put a poll up. She'll dance on it. Mm, not that poll. I don't mind it. Look, I mean, hey. <laughs> if, look, if, if mama can make the money. Mama can make the money. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, man. I'm going to call it a night. All right, night, man. Yeah, you be safe. I'm probably, I don't know. I might hop on something. My place. Uh, dude, I've been playing Anvil. You should check it out. I'll have to Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Welcome. Welcome. We were actually about the end of stream. We're about to end the podcast here. Uh, but welcome, Jackie. Right. We're ending the podcast, but by all means, you can hang out with me. Yeah, hang out I'm, with Taco. Well, I got to readjust some things to get back to my camera view. Mm-hmm. But I like to talk. So, see, so yeah, hang out. Yeah. I mean, watch uh, me play. Well, as a, oh, I'm doing good. Because he's got to work. Yeah. Gotta, I got to go to work in yeah, the morning. Tomorrow off cause, <laughs> because of snow. Because you know we're getting six inches of snow, so they're gonna call every. They've, they've shut everything down. Mm. Well, as I always say, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. As I always say, y'all are the greatest, and don't let nobody else tell you any different. This is your boy Illspit Three One Three with my man Taco Six, the host of the Random Stuffcast. Stuffcast. Random Please. Stuffcast. And we say, I say, good night. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good one, man. Taco, love All you, bro. Right. Lexa, yeah, you, good night, Lexa. Good night, everyone. All, All right. right, take it easy, bro. All right, take it easy, man. I'll talk to y'all later, man. Peace. Yeah, buddy. Crazy. All right, listen.